Singers, do you ever feel frustrated because you can't play an instrument? I know for me, it really held me back because I couldn't book any gigs without making sure that I had a player that was available. Once I finally learned how to play and sing at the same time, my career really took off. Unless you're Adele, you're doing a bunch of things. So you need to, you know, a singer needs to have the piano skills to be able to do a p like a voice lesson. What is a voice lesson? You have to play exercises. You have to be able to teach your student their melody line. You have to be able to comp, like play chords or accompany them in a way that makes sense, you know, to be able to support and play something that is, you know, some what inspiring to the person singing, but then for you to also be able to accompany yourself while you're learning songs or, um, you know, if you're a church musician to be able to like hear all the parts, you know, play some of the parts and sing along, um, or, you know, a songwriter to be able to play enough piano that you can create a harmonic landscape. So you're not always relying on the pianist in your band, the guitar player in your band. You know, my, my joke always with my singers is like, you don't have to marry a piano player. Like, <laughs> I want more for you. <laughs> don't marry a piano player. <laughs> Let's find you someone else. So like, you know, to, to be able to be your own person um, and not feel like you have to rely so heavily on other people to make the music for you. So, you know, you're, it's women's empowerment. It's singer's empowerment. It's to make singers feel empowered that they can, they've got most of it, what they need is in themselves.